That's going to hurt this run. Well, no it didn't. Ah, oh, Damn. Oh, come on. Really? Like that. <sighs> nope. <laughs> what the hell? Hey there, real gamers, and all you gatekeepers out there. Retro Rob here, and today we are taking a look at another Pokito game, and that is The Trials of Astarok. I press play on tape. By the way, same games available. Well, very, very similar game on, well, with the same name on the Ardu Boy, so you can play it on either device or the ESP Boy if you're feeling kind of risky. Anyway, I'll be showing you clips uh, from both devices today, uh, kind of intermingled. But note, if you use a code on this game, I'll, I'll show you that, by the way. You'll, you'll get this more after I talk a little bit. But anyway, if, I sh if, if you put in a code from this game into this one, the level will match because they're randomly generated based on what runes you cast or give at the beginning of the game. So. Pretty cool, matching levels. All right, anyway, we're over that part. Let's read the description. The Trials of Astarok. Each year, the people of the village choose a new champion to protect them from Astarok. Compete in the trials to see how far you can get and you could be that champion. Your choice of runes will select different courses. Some are easier than others. And soon, we will choose the runes. It's time for the Trials of Osterok, or Asterak, if you're from Wisconsin. I've already read through this. There's my runes if you want to play along. I'm going to choose a guy, but you could be a gal. All right, being careful. Is the most important thing to do here. And make sure to try and get a heart every time. If you don't get the center of it, you'll end up getting a coin or two, which is nowhere is near to greatness as getting a heart is. Ooh. I'm gonna note that there's a little bit of a delay from my recording. It's not the device itself. It is uh, actually this, this recording equipment right here. And it's kind of funny because I don't normally notice it, but on this game, it alters my timing for opening up these chests. And throws it off just a little bit, which we just demonstrated there. All right, this part sucks. Let's go for it. goal on this run is to break 1,000, uh, but of course it's endless, so you can keep going. But if you're playing through a uh, camera screen like I am, 1,000 should be pretty good. Stinking fireballs. All right, here's the Stranger. Stranger Danger. It's a matching game. There we go. 
Is it this one? Yep. Crud, I can't remember if... Nope. Shoot. Well, there we go. Not a game for the middle-aged. You do not have to kill everything. You'll get more points if you do, though. Eh, son of a gun. Watch out for those fireballs. Alright. Come on, fool. And he's down. <laughs> Alright, I did break a thousand. Let's see if I'll see daylight again here. I hate when they jump at the same time I do. It drives me crazy. Come on, I know that there's another one there. I know that there's a fireball there. It's waiting for me. I could have swore I saw a fireball. Ah, uh, and there we go. My trial is over. A big fail for me. But I did break a thousand, so I'm pretty happy about it. And that about ends it for the Trials of Astarok. I'm going to be playing this one for a while. Uh, I broke 4,000 and I'm looking to break 5,000 next on this one. Uh, but, but, but I want to note as well uh, that there's also a Curse of Astarok, which I've checked out. And that's really pretty good too, so I'm going to try and get that on. Uh, it'll probably be, I, I didn't see a version of it for the Poquito so I'll probably be doing it on one of the Arduino-based devices that they've got it for. But pretty cool anyway. Like this game a lot. Good controls. Nice graphics. Like the soundtrack. Definite thumbs up for me. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.